So we're finishing up uh, Sean's car today. We brought it in last week and we changed all the brakes and rotors on his Nissan Maxima. What is it, 2000? 2001. 2001. So this is what his rotors look like. They're all crappy and his brakes were pretty much worn down right to the metal. And on his last rotor, what was going on was it was worn down so much that it was grinding all the sh the shiny stuff off right here. See that? So every time he would drive, all he would hear is like a vroom, 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 vroom. So, and trying to change the last rotor, obviously the last one we're almost done. There's one bolt left to take off. It snaps inside the friggin' caliper housing. So we have that right here. And I'm gonna try and drill the bolt out. Luckily, the shaft of the bolt is smooth. There's no threads on it underneath. See right here? So I could just slide it right out and then put it in the vise, or else it would have been a huge pain in the butt to, um, to drill through. And then I put some, uh, some of this stuff on it right now. It breaks out all the rust and grime and stuff, so hopefully you can uh, drill through it. But that's next on the list when I'm cleaning off these glasses. See what happens. And it's hot as hell outside. Usually I have on a jumpsuit. So don't be talking smack in this video. Oh, he's always shirtless. It's hot! If I don't want to wear a shirt, I don't have to. It's like the guy on the radio with the women all in Boston saying if they're hot and they want to go topless, they can. <laughs> so if it's hot and I want to go topless, I can too. <laughs> but, uh. Let's see. I'm going to record the drill. Yeah. These aren't the best tips for really drilling into metal, but I'm going to go slow just to get the tip in. So it should be good. But just the tip, nothing else. Yeah, this drill is pretty fucking powerful. So. I already made a little divot in the bolt so I can put the drill right on. You wanna make sure you drill straight, too. The little drill pieces are hitting my nipples. <laughs> I can feel it. <laughs> So I drilled it out a bunch of times, but it's just not budging. So I'm going to apply some heat in there. Hopefully that'll loosen it up. And there's not a lot of propane left in here. So it keeps kicking out on me. Just super annoying. Oh yeah. Sean's scared of the flame. He's like... Are you sure you know what you're doing? Uh, no. <laughs> Just heating up the bolt. Can't be that hard. Oh, yeah. Get right in there. So, I'm going to hold this here for like 5 10 minutes and then attempt to get the bolt off. So, we'll see what happens. I got some vice grips I'm gonna put on the top. The problem is I don't want to drill it out too much because I don't want to have to retap the threads on the inside. And if I drill in too much, if I try to grab that top piece, it'll just snap right in half. So it's like damned if you do, you're damned if you don't kind of thing. It's getting nice and hot. Oh yeah. Pop's helping out now. Came home just in time. Don't cut my finger off. <laughs> well, it's not your nose 
finger, is it? <laughs> Mr. Herman tapped the bolt in from the thread that I've been knocking around for the past couple hours. So now what we're doing is we're testing it to make sure it goes in. And it seems to be doing that just fine. So Sean might actually be able to drive home tonight. <laughs> He's gonna drive home anyway. <laughs> Around the driveway. Yeah, push his car into the street. That's it. All right, so now what we're gonna do is assemble this all back together, put the car back together, and then figure out why when he takes left turns is a huge grinding noise coming out of the front of his car. <laughs> See you guys later. Thanks, Dad. You're welcome.